let's do a TB skin test. Uh, another name for a TB skin test is PPD skin test or a Manitox skin test. Depends on who your doctor is and how they write that. But a TB skin test, you all had to have one to get into the program. You had to have two to get into the program to go to the clinical sites. So um, I've done all my safety, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's really hard to do it on this arm here, but I'm just gonna talk you through it. So we've got our tuberculin or our PPD. I've washed my hands. You wanna be sure that you're getting something that can go in the intradermal because it's gonna go right under that top layer of skin. You're really gonna be able to really pretty much still see the needle through the skin. I don't know if any of y'all were, when you were kids, used to take straight pins and put them under your skin. That's what the poor kids in the 80s used to do. So I don't know if y'all do that, but you're still gonna be able to see that, really that needle through the skin. And it's gonna go right under the skin. So you always want to use a one ml because the most you can give intradermally is 0 0.1. So it's going to be like right there. So it's a very small amount that you can put under that uh, in the dermal layer of the skin. And you're gonna have a very small needle. So this is a 27 gauge, one half inch. Really one of the smallest needles you can get. Uh, you could really even do IM needles on this with uh, medications on this with babies. But we're gonna use this for an adult TB skin test. I've scrubbed the hub for 15 seconds. I've checked my orders. If a patient is allergic to this, uh, of course you don't wanna give it. You wanna recommend them to get a chest X-ray. I'm gonna open away from me. I'm gonna get my syringe out. Again, this one does not have a safety. These all come with safeties now. But see my patient's right here. I'm going to take my top off here. I'm gonna pull back to my 0 0.1, which is, I mean, look, it's right there. It's just teeny amount. So I'm going to put my air into air. If you don't put your air into your vials so that what you're putting in and taking out doesn't balance out, sometimes it can make the medicine hard to come out of uh, the vial. So I wanna be sure when I'm drawing up, see there's not a lot in there. I wanna be sure that my needle, that the end of my needle is actually in the liquid. So I'm gonna draw back. So I gotta to get to where I can see it, I'm sorry, Cindy. You wanna be sure there's, and you gotta be careful that you don't bend your needle because these little fine needles they sure do want to break or bend on you. I got an air bubble in it. I can't get it out, so I'm going to push it back up in there. And I'm going to draw back out slow again. And I'm going to get it to the point one. It's to the point one. And I'm going to hold this. Hold this for me, Sydney. Remember, you don't recap, and that doesn't have a safety on it. So I'm going to put my gloves on. I've identified my patient. Now for a TB skin test, you always put it in the inner forearm. And how I do it, I put my one palm link. So I put my palm at the wrist, so about right there. I know some people have came to class and they've been checked way up here. But say this is my patient's wrist, I would lay my hand down and I would give it about right there. Thank you, Sydney. So I've got my alcohol pad, I've measured it out, and I'm going to clean in a circular motion. Again, I lay my alcohol pad there with the point to point to me where I've cleaned because when it dries, it's really hard to tell. Again, you never fan and you never blow, you let it dry. Now, when you're giving a TB skin test, this is where the hole in the needle comes into play or the point. The hole is called the bevel or that pointy part is called the bevel. The bevel has to be up. So you want the hole pointed upward. When That way the sharp point is down and it will go through the skin easier. Whenever you're doing a TB skin test, drawing blood, or starting an IV, the bevel has to be up, or that little hole is always facing up. So, I've got my bevel facing up. You want your skin pulled tight. Because if you try to put this into lax skin, it's just gonna kinda, I mean, it's gonna, it's just gonna push up. So you want your skin tight. So you pull your skin tight, and you're gonna go at like you're gonna be parallel with the skin. You're gonna be way down here. 
So if you're trying to hold it with your fingers all the way under it, look how high the angle is. That's like a 45 degree angle. You don't want that. Even when we start doing IVs or drawing blood, you don't want that big of an angle. You're gonna to want to be down pretty parallel. So move your fingers out of the way. You also don't wanna pull your skin tight and see, look, I'm gonna hit my needle. I could easily hit my needle on my glove and contaminated it. Plus it puts your angle up too high. So pull your skin tight to the side, get your bevel down or get your syringe down. Your bevel is up and you're gonna go right under that top layer of skin. And you're gonna go about halfway up that needle. So that was a half inch needle. So you're gonna be half of that in the skin. And in a real person, there's a good chance you're gonna be able to see your needle through the skin. Then you slowly inject your medication and you're looking for it to form a wheel or a bleb, a little elevated lump for just a second. So you let it set, you pull it straight back out. You can put light pressure on it, but you never rub that. I'm gonna throw this immediately into my box. And then with a true TB skin test, you will mark that area because the nurse will have to come back and read that 48 to 72 hours later. You never uh, do it like this because you could spread it and cause you to have a false positive. Uh, they don't even recommend you put band-aids over it because it could also cause a false positive. So that is your TB skin test. Again, directly under the skin, low angle, bevel up. The most you can put in is 0.1 ml, so a very small amount under that top layer of skin.